Okay, what are you saying? And I don't have it all. Probably won't until it happens. But God's been really talking to me, and he says, a lot of you are pregnant with anticipation. Going back to that number nine. You know, something is stirring. You know, something is going on. You can't put your finger on it. And in a natural, it sure doesn't look like it at all. But inside, you're just pregnant. You know that you know. You're almost, and then your mind gets in the way. You're like, well, but that every now and then that goes on. And you know that you're pregnant with something. Amen. Something is going on in the spiritual realm. Amen? amen. 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 That's what those of you, amen. Those can say amen and feel it. You don't feel it. You, that really sounds dumb. It really sounds stupid. But you really have to be spiritual to understand. And it's, it's uncomfortable because nothing is going on out here. But inside, you just feel this stirring. It's something like Christmas Eve. Something is coming. I just can't figure out what it is. And that's what reminded me of Celine. Something is stirring. You know, you really believe you are on the verge of something awesome. Something you cannot explain. Bishop has been saying for the last few weeks, there's a shifting going on. Yes. There's a shifting, there's yes. a shifting, there's a shifting. And every time he would say it in a conversation to me, I would literally feel the anointing just go like this. I really would feel there's a shifting in the earth. You know, even when you look at so in so in spiritual, so in natural, mm -hmm. what, what Russia did with Crimea, that is very, very, very unusual. Mm -hmm. uh, Russia would have never had the nerve to do that to take over somebody else's city inside their own country, to kill someone, to um, escort people out of government buildings with everything they own. Um, there's a lot of weather. There's a lot of shifting going on in the earth right now. There's a lot of shifting. Here it is, March, almost into April, and there's still snow. Yeah, you know, they're starting to about next week something may come. Uh -huh. there, there's, there's a shifting going on in here. Somebody needs to say amen. There's a shifting. If you don't feel it, it's because you're not walking in the spirit. Exactly. I can't say it any other way. And, and you're dumb and blind because all you got to do, I've had parents that aren't Christians say, you know, something going on. It's like it's the last days or something. There's something going on. There's, look at somebody say, there's a shifting. I want to share with you a great blessing. Something that God revealed to me about five or six years ago. And it's really been growing in me and fermenting in me. And, it, and it's just an awesome spiritual thing going on. That it's, when God revealed it to me, it wasn't that major at first, but it flipped my life into an arena of blessings, peace, and balance that I had never known before. Now, see, I could not figure out why I could not move into the next level of my blessing. And I'm not just talking about my physical blessings. I'm also talking about I had a desire to go deeper. I would tell God, I just want to go deeper with you. I really do. And I still have that desire. But also I told God, you know, I'm, I'm looking for some things for myself, my family, my children, my grandchildren, uh, for my ministry, for the school. And it just seemed like there was a hindrance. For years it seemed like there was this hindering spirit. In fact, God showed me, and a great man of God told me, he said, there are people praying against you that don't like you. And I said, really? My feelings were kind of hurt even though I knew it. And he said, um, these are witch spirits. And he said, but you're going to get to the place, God's showing me you're going to get to the place that they're not going to be able to hinder you. Jesus. And um, I just couldn't figure out the problem. 
Why couldn't I? I'm like, well, I'm going to try fast or pray, whatever. Launch out into the deep. When you're in shallow water, in the summertime, our family hits the water. Bishop loves the fish. Uh, Carlisa likes this fish. She loves the fish. She doesn't like to, um, well, she does it now, but she used to hate putting the worm on, which would bug Bishop, because every time she went to redo her hook, he's fishing, he got to turn around and put the blood worm on her. And it's, for fishing people, they will tell you that's a pain. They hate it. Don't bother them. Don't fish it. Don't bother me. Well, because it's my daughter, you know, I'm going to do it. But I noticed last year she's starting to put her on. And I love to get in the water. I love to swim, as some of you know. So we do a lot of water stuff in the summer. And I remember one year standing in the water, and we were in St. Martin or St. Corey, one of those places. And when I looked down, the water was up to my ankle, and there were these pink and yellow fish, little fish just swimming all around. And I'm like, whoa! You know, do they bite? Well, these, these uh, what are those, those fish that eat flesh? Yeah. Yeah. What are these fish, man? But, and so I jumped out the water, but they drew me back because they were so pretty. So I got back in the shallow water, and they were baby fish. You'll hear me after a while. Uh -huh. They were little fish swimming around my feet. God said to me, baby fish, small things are in shallow water. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Small things are in shallow water. Yeah. Small things are in your safety zone. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Launch out. Look at somebody say, launch out into the deep. Launch, launch out into the deep. See, when you're in shallow water, let me, let me help you to see you're in shallow water. Most saints major on the minor. Most human beings major on the minor. What am I talking about? Okay. I can remember saints. And, 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 if you were there, don't take it offense, because I'm telling you, I am so free and deliberate, it ain't funny. It, I understand Paul saying none of these things move me. <coughs> Nothing moves me anymore. Yeah. Um, I would spend a lot of time on minor spirits coming from minor people. Yeah. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Right, man. When they would say something, I would spend hours explaining to them why and what and how. Yeah. And at night I'd be walking, anybody know what I'm talking about? Walking the floor, frustrated, hurt, aggravated. My mind would go on and on and on with it, and I couldn't sleep at night. And why are they like that? And why did why don't they understand? And why don't they like why don't just someone said something about me, I'd be hurt. And I'd be all hindered by that hurt. Because I'd be trying to figure out why did they say that? Why did they act like that? Why did they do that? Because, see, at that time, I was trying to prove God called me. I'm doing God's work, so forth and so on. I don't care anymore what you think. Right. Right. I really don't. Right. I really don't. Right. That's your loss. Uh -huh. If you are so shallow watered, that you're there, then you stay there and join the baby fish. I'm catching Mark. I'm out there the host. Going in now. Hallelujah. And see, it's hard for some of you to catch this because you're way back at shore and you're seeing me. I look like a dot. I don't make sense. You know, you're looking going, does that make sense? Does that make sense? Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Holy Ghost just spoke to me. Um, Bishop would say to me, honey, I don't know if he remembers how or why. Stop letting people take up free rent in your mind. Uh, uh, wow. Amen. Uh, That's good. Uh, Bishop, yeah, it is. He has a lot of wisdom. There's something I love about my husband and our bishop. He just has a lot of inner wisdom. And when he says something, he really captures it. 
But believe it or not, I would get mad with him. Because I would say, you don't understand. You don't understand. My feelings got hurt, and they not listening to me, and they don't respect me, and da 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 da. I remember when I, God spoke and he came in room for me to be assistant pastor. And I would go back there and whine to him. I didn't think it was whining then, but it was. And I'd say, they're not listening to me. I don't tell them to do something. They don't. And you need to go out there and talk to them because they're not going to He said, I ain't going nowhere. He said, God called you. And they're going to have to respect you. And you're going to have to pay your dues. It didn't sound like wisdom then. It sounded like he wasn't caring. But it was wisdom. Yeah. It was wisdom. And I gained some respect. Some I'll never gain that respect. But see, when you get out into the deep with God, you don't major on the minors anymore. Y'all not hearing me. See, it does not matter what people think. It matters what God thinks. And so when you get past folk, you're, you're, you're sailing. You're Amen. sailing. Uh, Jesus, Peter is at the shallow end. They, they parked their boats. And he says, he doesn't say launch out into the water. That's what he should have said. He said launch out into the deep. And I know in this shift that God is speaking to us and saying it's time to launch out into the deep. It's time to let go of this minor crap that is holding you in the shell. Yeah, the fish are pretty. See, you get comfortable and you get satisfied and you stay at the shallow end. You have got to start thinking deeper. Amen. Uh, and some of you will remember five or six years ago, I started saying I don't care. Because that was my transformation time. I, I wasn't trying to be offensive, but I didn't care anymore. I really didn't. I remember the other, um, last week, or was it this week? Anyway, recently we went to see the school trailers. And when the man told us the cost, and it's still a phenomenal price, but it was Amen. higher. But it made sense after I figured it out. He said $25,000. Uh -huh. And my mind went, because I had another figure in mind. But immediately, because I've launched out into D, uh -huh. I'm telling you, Mother Wills, I was at total peace. Okay. Instantly. Yeah. Bam. My mind went bam, and my spirit went bam. And I was like, oh, now. Because. If it is of God, you can't stop it. Go ahead. You can't stop it. At least you fight against God. Amen. And we, Bishop and I, have constantly seen, no matter who, what, where, how, God has done it anyhow. Amen. God will do it anyhow. God will do it anyhow. He said, I'll make your enemies your It doesn't matter. It's already done. Amen. The way is already prepared. Amen. It's you staying in the shallow end of the pool. Amen. You can't learn how to swim in the shallow end. But see, when you get out in the deep, too much is given, much is required. Amen. And so most saints like staying at the shallow end. Because see, I can stand back and I can criticize. It amazes me when I hear saints, not in this ministry, of course, but other, other ministries criticizing their pastors, their leaders. And I'm like, how can you do that? You're not in their feet. Amen. You're not in their shoes. Amen. You're not in their shoes. Amen. You don't know what in the hell, heaven, earth they going through. Amen. You don't know. But I can tell you this, too much is given. And I tell people all the time, you can have it if you want it. Go ahead. You know, people want to jump into leadership. You have no idea just the hellhounds yeah. that are assigned yeah. to your life. Amen. Just to try to trouble you, worry you, your kids. I remember when TJ 
uh, uh, had his motorcycle accident. And when he sent the pictures, it was bone. He, it was bone. My son, this is a child that I birthed into the earth and raised. His leg has been torn to threads. And I'm a mother. Uh -huh. Amen. And my mind said, get on a friend. And most of you would have done it. Uh -huh. But because I live by a process, I'm at another level. And I live by Proverbs 3, 4, 5, and 6. Uh -huh. See, all those people upset about that plane missing, if they had got on an altar, a clean, holy altar somewhere, and prayed, uh -huh. God has showed it to them a long time ago. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, Y'all yeah. didn't come ready tonight. So I asked God, I said, am I supposed to go? I don't jump up and just do this. God, am I supposed to go? He said, no. Yeah, I didn't expect that. I expected him to say, of course, go. It's your child. He said, no, I told you years ago. You be about my business, I'll be about yours. I'll take care of him. And he did in an awesome way. Yeah. Awesome way. Awesome, awesomely, awesomely. So when I started saying I don't care, it surprised me that the people of God were offended. But I had to remember they're in shallow water and I'm out in the deep. So they're not going to understand. When you launch out in the deep, people aren't going to understand you. Amen. Amen. People's not going to understand you. The devil wants us entangled yes. with the cares of this life. Yes. And the yes. cares yes. of this life bring bondage. Yes. The cares of this life will cause you not to do what God has caused you to do. Because yes. you're thinking about your cares, your yes. bills, your responsibilities, uh -huh. rather than God told me to do it, that's what I'm going to do. Go ahead. Amen. You know, I told God, and I know this ain't going to get a lot of people excited. It's probably going to aggravate you because you know God has already called you out of the shallow water and you refuse to leave. Yeah. Yeah. 